So recently I came across a really fantastic utility board which allows you to uh, forward your local host traffic to the public internet so anybody from anywhere can access it. It's fairly easy to use. So to demonstrate it, I have a Django application running on my local host. If I just can source it uh, on port 8000. So let's first see what the application is. And this is the application. Uh, it's a Django application. Now we want to expose it to the public internet so my friend can see it so to do that uh, so to do so to do that uh, first keep the server running and uh, now the command is board local then the port on your local host whatever the port you are using in our case it's 8000 tag tag two two means um, the server i will tell you more about it uh, but you gotta specify to board.pub it's in public instance which where your service will be exposed then that's that's the url that you get you can specify come over here enter and it kind of slow uh, because it depends upon my internet connection and my internet connection is not stable as you can see but it's working pretty good let's see and this is the application we can go under projects we have projects we can access admin portal it's running on my local host okay if you come over here these are the requests you can see it's running on my local host this is the admin portal and uh, yeah now the other, other thing that i want to showcase let's exit this application and exit it imagine okay you cannot just expose anything which is running on your local host but also anything any service which is running a part of your local network so if uh, you are self-hosting something and like I have a directory listing server uh, which is not running on localhost which is running on my different workstation so you can just copy its IP address and we can expose it too okay you can expose any service um, at least you're part of the same network so let's try board again local then you have to specify another argument which is localhost then the IP address then the port you gotta remove this URL thing and tag tag bo.pub which is common and let's try to access it now this service this directly listing server is not running on this machine it's on different workstation but still we can expose it because it's the part of same network it's on my same wi-fi so let's see and uh, here we go you can access my ssh keys if you want to yep that's all that's how easy it is to expose uh, or use bow now let's understand uh, the command line a little bit more so to run bow you specify bow local which means you want to expose uh, forward traffic from your local system or your local network then specify the password then the public instance now it can be owned by you by default bow has their own public instance which is bow.pub but you can self-host bow by yourself which is just one simple command and where is it it's here bo.server and you can run it in a, a vps under five dollars and yeah you don't even need a domain you can just use ip address if you are comfortable with it and why would you want to do that the only reason i recommend it when you are doing something related to sensitive work for example if you are performing a pen test and your client are uh, using some mysql server locally and you want to expose it to the traffic uh, to the open internet so you can perform your pen test easily so one way you can expose it to bo.pub which is not recommended way this way anybody can access it so you can self-host your own bo server and you will be able to expose securely you can even specify the password in this case you cannot but if you self-host your own server bo server you can do that second thing you're probably aware of ngrock that's what i used to use previously bow and the reason i don't like it it's a business product okay you need to create an account and if i keep forgetting password of it because i don't use it for anything else another thing the url that you get is a pretty stupid long so that's the other thing i never heard of local tunnel the only complaint from local tunnel that i have it's in javascript i cannot compile it or drop on my target okay that's the only reason and bow create any rust you can compile it drop it on your target use it and even you can use it for development like you want to showcase a project to your friend or something like that so yeah that's all and by the way the code is just 400 lines 
you can read it if you want to anything else do i want to cover probably not just use okay you can it's, it's a fairly easy utility to use you should give it a shot it's cool